Welcome to Sobi IT. This is Mustafa Sobi. So I've decided that I want to work on creating a KuCoin bot. And as I go through this, I will teach you what I learn. And uh, hopefully you we can both make some money off of that. Um, so I'm kind of thinking a KuCoin trading bot and the language I'm going to be using is um, Node.js. And I'm not sure what methods I'm, I'm going to use for trading right now. Um, thinking maybe the 50MA um, or maybe the VWAP or the RSI, looking at like any sort of technical analysis is basically what we're going to be doing. Um, obviously no fundamental analysis because we're working with code here. Um, and crypto tends to move very well with, um, with technical analysis um, as far as what I've seen so far. So I'm not going to go over how to get the environment set up exactly. I'm just going to tell you what you need to have installed and like the process you need to do it, but I'm not going to go through it step by step. So first you want to have Xcode downloaded. Very simple. Just go ahead and download it and make sure that you open it and agree to the terms and conditions um, thing that'll pop up immediately. So that's the first thing with Xcode. And then after that, you're going to want to install Homebrew. So basically to install Homebrew, you just copy this, this command here paste it into the, into the terminal and you're good to go. I'm using iTerm over here, but you can just use the regular terminal. So Homebrew is a package manager for Mac OS and Linux, technically. Um, basically, it'll manage any packages that you install. So we're going to be using it to install Node. Um, so to do that, all you need to do is type brew install Node, like so. And you can see I already have Node already installed and up to date. So if I show you my Node version, and if I show you my NPM version, which is the Node Package Manager, you'll see they're up to date. So next, what we'll need to do is, first of all, this is the developer um, KuCoin uh, API page. So basically this has anything to do related with the API is going to be on this on this site. And you can see the different languages that they support here. So we have Java, PHP, Go, Python, and Node.js. I'm going to be using Node.js because I have never used it before and I'm looking to learn something new. Additionally, it will be a pretty fast one. So next thing, once you click on the Node.js SDK, this will help you to download it. So basically you come here to the GitHub page where the, this SDK is managed. And basically all you need to do is take this right here, npm install, KuCoin is Node SDK, copy it and paste it into the terminal. Okay, and that will install the Node SDK. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do it again. So that's basically it to to be ready. Once you have all those things installed, um, we'll we'll be using VS Code, which many people have, and uh, we'll get to that in the next uh, few videos. See you.